name is Josh Capadlo, technical trainer here at Manitowoc Ice. And today we're going to be taking a look at what we call the clogged drain fault on the new NEO undercounter unit with onboard water filtration. We have our machine out here in the lab that we're going to be working with. You can do everything that we're going to be doing today right through the front door. Since I have the clearance and it's not in an undercounter situation, I'm going to take this top off. I've already taken out the two screws on one on each side slide the lid back and take it out now you have perfect access inside of this machine scrub down the walls gain access to everything inside of this cabinet an in-depth step-by-step guide to cleaning this machine can be found in your installation operation maintenance manual as well as your technician's handbook i'm not going to go very in-depth on fully cleaning this machine today we're more just here to talk about the clogged drain fault. Let's start with putting this machine into a cleaning cycle. You're going to make sure that it's not in an ice making mode. Press and hold the clean button for a few seconds and release. The blue light will come on, the clean light will go on solid, and the first thing the machine's going to do is drain all of its water out. From this point, you would consult your technician's handbook or installation operation and maintenance manual on the full cleaning cycle. We're not going to do an in-depth cleaning video today. Our machine has circulated the water for 10 minutes and now it has made its first dump. But our clean light is now blinking, indicating that we are in a fault mode. So we'll go and take a look inside the water trough. There's no water in there. So in that case, we're going to be diagnosing for a float switch issue because we know the water made it out of the unit, but for some reason, the control board thinks it's still full of water. Our machine has circulated the water for the 10 minutes and then attempted to dump. We're in a fault and we know that because our clean light is flashing. If we take a look down inside the water pan, this time it's still full of water. On this point, we're going to diagnose what's going on, whether it's a clogged drain outlet, could have a bad dump valve, could have a control board not setting power to the dump valve, could have a harness between the two that's losing power somewhere. At this point, you're going to go ahead and diagnose, figure out why you're not able to get water out of the machine. So I found the issue on our machine, made the corrective action, ran it through a descaling cycle and a sanitization cycle, and it's now ready to put the top cover back on and make ice. That will conclude our cleaning fault video today. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please don't be afraid to post them in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.